crosswords with the EV Crossword Maker, and then adding them to a WordPress website with the EV Crosswords plugin is very easy. Let's see how. We start with a list of words, one word per line, separated by double semicolon, from its hint. The hint is the clue provided to end users so they can guess the word. We save the list to a file, take note of its path, and we open the crossword making tool. Start a new project, entering a name for the project. Number of columns and rows for the crossword. And the location of the file containing the list of words. Press OK and the tool immediately starts placing words interactively. The user gets to decide whether they want that word placed in the selected direction and location or not. Here I chose no, so the word gets removed. Very quickly, we will have many words in place. Here, it struggles to cross a word and tries to place it by itself. We say no. At some point, we are told it got as far as it could. But we are not done, we can still place words manually. That green USA word the Reese not placed. It is a display glitch. If we go to another window and back, it will be gone. To add words manually, we now press the Add More Manually button at the right end of the toolbar. These are the words from our list, which have not been placed. We can choose any of them, or we can use the option to enter a new word. We specify the direction, horizontal or vertical and we pick the location directly from the board. After pressing Add, the word will be added, and a blank cell will be available next to the word in the table for us to enter the hint. So, let's add a hint for goal. Then, if we believe we are done, we can save our crossword by going to File, then Save. We will save it in XML format, as that is the format that our WordPress plugin understands. We are now done creating our crossword with the Making tool, but we will quickly look at two things before loading our crossword in WordPress. The first is to take a look at the crossword file created for us. This file describes the crossword we just created. It is easy to understand. The root element is crossword, and under it, we find two sections, horizontals and verticals, which contain the words to be placed horizontally and vertically, respectively. Each word entry has a value, which contains the actual word, as well as its location and its hint. The second thing we will do is to quickly test our crossword within the making tool by going to Options and Test Crossword. It will show a dialog with the end user view of the crossword. Look how the space where we can press and type matches the space where the words are in the making board. Let's press solve to confirm that our words are there and fit properly. They do, so we close and we are done here. We can now go to WordPress. We have already added the plugin in the way plugins get added to WordPress. So we go to the crosswords entry, add it to the dashboard by the plugin, select add new, and in the form displayed, we provide a name and a description for our crossword, and we choose the crossword XML file we previously created. We press Upload Crossword to add the crossword to WordPress, and we get feedback at the top that the crossword has been saved. Let's go back to Crosswords in the dashboard and find our new crossword. Here it is, let's view it. Alright, here's the crossword for us to solve. 
We can press on any entry on the board, and we will see the hint on the right side. In front of the hint, we will see H and a colon for horizontal entries, and V and a colon for vertical entries. Some entries only have one of them, but entries where two words start will have both. We can type, we can check for mistakes, and we can ask the software to solve the crossword for us. That's it. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe.